Earlier in the show, we told you about NASA's breakthrough discovery of water on Mars. Right now, I am here with the Assistant Professor of Physics and Astronomy, Vahi Perumian, to help explain what this really means. Hi, Dr. Perumian. Thank you for being here with us. Hi, great being here. Hi. So I know you're an expert on this subject. You actually did your PhD in this. Right. So can you help us understand what makes this any different than anything we've heard before? Well, up to now, what we've done is uh, seen more and more evidence of there being water on Mars. And why is water important? When we're thinking about life in any location outside of the Earth, we need three main ingredients. We need water, we need energy, and we need organic molecules. Well, energy comes from the sun at Mars. We have organic molecules. The Mars Curiosity rover has established that there are organic molecules on Mars. And so the missing ingredient was liquid water. And so this discovery shows us that uh, all three ingredients exist on Mars, and so life could possibly exist on that planet. Oh, wow. So how exactly does this affect, affect us here on Earth? Well, the most profound question we have, in my opinion, is are we alone in the universe? And uh, the question is, can life exist somewhere else? And if the answer turns out to be yes in our closest neighbor in the solar system, then it kind of we can extrapolate from that and say that, well, that means that in most places where life can arise, it will arise. And so the universe is somewhere teeming with life rather than having us alone on a blue planet in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. And especially, like, this seems like this is really great news for astronauts. So how does this affect maybe future explorations? Well, we've known for a while that there's big glaciers of water ice on Mars so that perhaps one of the challenges we don't have to overcome when we send astronauts to Mars is to have them carry water with them. Now, briny water may not be drinkable, but if there is liquid water on Mars, that makes it a bit less challenging to send astronauts there. After, after all, when we explore the solar system, we have to be self-sufficient. We have to carry our oxygen, our food, and uh, water with us, and this will make uh, the challenge a little bit less daunting. I mean, now, is there anything else that we should also be looking for on Mars? What are the possibilities? Well, the possibility is of, of microbial life, and I think the, the main thing will be now to start looking to see if these conditions put together are going to give us uh, the possibility of life. Does life still exist on Mars? Did it exist in the past and, and uh, became extinct because of the changing conditions on Mars? So I think that's the big question we have. Does life still exist on Mars? Did it ever exist on that planet? Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for being here with us. We welcome. appreciate appreciate all your advice and your suggestions. So now we're going to go back to Cole. Thank you so much.